Welcome back to The Garage. This is Token Teardown, the show where we jack crypto projects up on the lift, crawl underneath with a flashlight, and explain what's actually going on under the hood. No hype. No vibes. No trust me, bro. Today's project on the lift is Arweave, ticker AR. Permanent storage. One-time payment. Built to outlast cycles, narratives, and attention spans. Now, before anyone starts yelling in the comments, yes, we will talk price later. We get it. That's everyone's favorite lane. But before numbers, before charts, before the dino spins, we've got to answer the real question. Does Arweave deserve a spot in your bag? Because price without fundamentals is just revving an engine in neutral. This teardown is a viewer request. We put it on Triple X's desk. He looks at it and says, really? Arweave? So I said, what's the problem? You can't handle it? And that was it. Because when Triple X gets challenged, he doesn't argue. He researches, white papers, GitHub commits, token distribution, incentives until the story either holds up or breaks. And a real talk for a second. Triple X, AKA Christian, we appreciate you, brother. Because without the work nobody sees, this garage doesn't run. So if you respect real research, smash the like, hit follow, and send this to your crypto buddy. Yes, even that guy. Still talking about Dogecoin at happy hour. Now, think of our weave like a 70 series Toyota Land Cruiser. Not fast, not flashy, but engineered to keep going for decades when the road disappears. That's the promise. Now let's see if it holds up. Before you trust a machine, you look at who built it. Not the logo, not the marketing, the builders, Arweave was founded by Sam Williams. And Sam isn't a hype cycle founder. He's a systems builder. His focus wasn't fast money or trends. It was a simple, uncomfortable truth. The internet forgets. Links rot. Archives disappear. Platforms decide what survives. So Sam didn't build another blockchain. He built a system designed to answer one question. How do you make data last without trusting anyone to behave forever? That principle shaped everything. Permanent storage. One-time payment, hard limits instead of endless emissions. Alongside Sam, an early contributor and advisor was Phil Mataris. Phil's role wasn't hype, it was economics. Pressure testing whether permanence could survive financially, not just technically. In simple terms, Sam made permanence possible. Phil helped make permanence sustainable. And that combination matters because permanent storage is meaningless. If the economics collapse later, the pit crew takeaway is simple. No panic pivots. No trend chasing. They built through bull markets and kept building through bears. Quietly. That's what long-term builders look like. All right. Now let's talk about what they actually built. And this is where we slow things down because this is where most people get lost. You hear layer one and your brain shuts off. So here's the garage version. A layer one means this is the whole car. Its own engine its own frame, its own fuel, not riding on Ethereum, not borrowing security. Our weave is a base layer, but it's not a race car. Most layer ones are built for speed, transactions. Throughput, our weave was built for memory. Think of it like this. Ethereum is the engine. Solana is the transmission. Our weave is the hard drive. Under the hood, it uses something called the block weave. Instead of only checking the last block, Miners must prove they can access random pieces of old data. Car version? You don't get paid just for revving the engine. You get paid because you can still pull service records from 10 years ago. That mechanism forces miners to store history. Memory becomes security. Now execution. Yes, Arweave has smart contracts, but it uses lazy execution. Store the logic. Store the inputs. Only compute when someone asks for the result. Less cost, less congestion. Built for correctness, not speed racing. On top of this sits the permaweb, a permanent web layer. Websites, files, records serve normally, but backed by data that doesn't disappear. That's the build, a layer one designed to remember things when everything else forgets. All right, now the obvious question, is anyone actually using this thing? Because great engineering with no drivers 
is just garage art? And the answer is yes, in places where failure isn't an option. Arweave is not a consumer app. You don't wake up and open Arweave like a wallet or trading screen. It sits underneath other systems. For example, on Solana, projects rely on Arweave to store NFT images and metadata, so the asset you bought doesn't turn into a broken link later. That's not theoretical. Metaplex, the core NFT standard on Solana, defaults to Arweave for permanent storage. That's a design choice, not a marketing one. Publishing platforms like Mirror use Arweave. So articles are written once and preserved permanently. No silent edits, no disappearing history. Social protocols like Lens Protocol rely on permanent storage layers, so identity and content don't vanish when platforms change rules. And tools like Bundler exist for one simple reason, to make uploading data to Arweave faster and easier for developers who are already using it. That tells you something. Arweave is where you put things you never want to lose. Car version? Most blockchains are the dashboard. Arweave is the trunk. You don't think about it every day, but the moment it's gone, everything spills onto the road. Now here's the part that matters. This is not speculative usage. People aren't using Arweave because they think the token will pump. They're paying for a service, permanent storage. And once data is written, it doesn't churn. Nobody unstores history. So adoption here doesn't show up as daily active users logging in and out. It shows up as data accumulation, more files, more records, more memory locked in, slow, deliberate, compounding. That's what real infrastructure usage looks like. So when you ask, is anyone actually using Arweave? The answer is simple. Yes, the people who care about durability already are. Now that we know this thing actually has drivers, the next question becomes unavoidable. How does the fuel system hold up over the long haul? All right, tokenomics. Relax, it's not complicated. It's just the fuel system. The fuel is AR, and it has a hard cap. 66 million tokens, no infinite printing. No surprise unlocks. Most of the supply was issued early. The rest comes out slowly through mining rewards. No cliffs, no VC time bombs. Now here's the key mechanic. When someone stores data on Arweave, they pay an AR. That payment is split. Some pays miners today. A large portion goes into a storage endowment. A long-term maintenance fund, car version, you're not just buying gas, you're prepaying maintenance for decades. And while AR sits in that endowment, it's effectively locked. So here's the balance. New AR enters slowly. Used AR gets locked away. No tricks, just mechanics. AR is not a staking token. There's no yield for sitting on it. Its value comes from usage. More data stored means more fuel consumed. That's it. Simple. Predictable. Now that we understand the fuel system, we can look at where this thing could fail and what happens if it doesn't. All right, now let's talk roadmap. And this matters because Arweave doesn't run on flashy timelines or hype releases. This is infrastructure. So the roadmap philosophy is simple. Don't break what already has to last forever. Instead of redesigning the engine every year, Arweave focuses on stability, hardening, tooling. Think of it like maintaining a long range expedition vehicle. You reinforce the frame, you improve access, you extend capability without compromising reliability. That's why upgrades tend to happen around developer tooling, gateway improvements, and ecosystem layers built on top of the base chain, not radical changes to the base itself. Once you promise permanence, you don't get to experiment recklessly. The takeaway is simple. The roadmap isn't about speed. It's about making sure this thing still works decades from now. Now let's see who else is on the road because our weave isn't racing. Most blockchains head to head. First, it centralized cloud storage, cheap, convenient, but if you stop paying or the rules change, your data is gone. That's renting. Next, decentralized storage networks. These are closer, but most still operate on a rent model. Stop paying and availability isn't guaranteed. 
Our weave is different. It's not asking who's hosting this today. It's asking, how do we make sure this exists tomorrow? That's a different race. And then there are other blockchains, Ethereum, Solana. They store data, but they're optimized for transactions, not long-term storage, which is why data often gets pushed elsewhere. That's our weave's lane, not replacing engines, being the memory everything else relies on. Before we talk numbers, we need to talk about people because community is the exhaust note. Our weaves community is not loud, no constant hype, no meme armies. It's builder heavy developers, archivists, researchers, people who care about whether the data is still there. And here's the part that matters. This community stayed through a brutal drawdown from $90 to $4. And the builders didn't disappear. That tells you what kind of culture this is. Not exciting, but durable. And for infrastructure, durable beats loud every time. All right, now we're at everyone's favorite part, the money. Before we start, every number you're about to hear comes from the head of TA in the garage. Lulu, no vibes, just math. Here's the baseline. Total crypto market today, about $3.2 trillion. Our weave today, around $4 per token. Total supply, 66 million AR. Market cap, roughly $260 million. Our weave already had a cycle. It topped around $90, roughly a $6 billion market cap. Today is reality, not hype. Now the scenarios, scenario one, cruise control. Crypto goes to 20 trillion. Our weave keeps the same market share. That puts AR around $25. No breakout, just scale. Scenario two, traction. Crypto hits 20 trillion. And our weave gains modest relevance. Market cap around 10 billion. Price around $150. This is where the tires start gripping. Scenario three, moonshot. Crypto hits 20 trillion. And permanence becomes mandatory. Market cap around 40 billion. Price around $600. That's the upside case. Now the part we don't skip, the black swan. Regulation, a legal shock. A new architecture, something breaks assumptions. That risk is real. And ignoring it is how people get wrecked. This isn't a promise. It's a framework. By the way, before we score anything, none of this is financial advice. And there's one more thing we should probably tell you, just in case this is your first time here and you're watching this while trying to access your kid's college fund. We told you earlier, that the head of technical analysis in the garage is Lulu. Well, Lulu is a pig. And no, I'm not saying she's overweight. She has four hooves, a tail. So if you somehow end up taking financial advice from a pig, that one's on you, my friend. All right, let's hit the dyno. Build quality, 9.0, purpose built, overbuilt, designed to last, technology and architecture. 8.8, .8, layer one. Original design, memory of security. Tokenomics, 8.5. Hard cap, no unlock bombs. Fuel tied to real usage. Adoption, 8.3. Infrastructure grade, quiet, sticky. Team and execution, 8.7. No panic pivots, built through cycles. Community, 7.9. Not loud, still here. Roadmap, 8.0. Endurance over fireworks, risk profile, 7.6, real risks, visible risks, narrative fit, 8.4. If crypto scales, memory matters. That puts our weave at a total dyno score, 8.6 out of 10. Category, tuned up, infrastructure grade build. Not a meme, not a flip, a long haul vehicle. A 70 series Land Cruiser with dust on the paint and a full maintenance log. If the road gets long, you'll want one of these in the garage. And before you roll out, if this teardown helped you think clearer, like the video and subscribe. We're building this channel the right way. Slow, honest, and focused on understanding what actually lasts. And check out the website, gurucryptogarage.guru. It's free. Click around. Play with it. Let us know what you think. It's a work in progress, and we're building it with you. And as always, if there's a project 
You want up on the lift? Drop it in the comments. Who knows? It might be next. Until then, let it rip.